Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Daniel Pinot. I'm a longtime Microsoft Access, now Office Apps MVP, Microsoft MVP, um, for my contributions in the realm primarily of Microsoft Access databases. Um, so today uh, I thought I'd go back to some of the basics. One of the most fundamental questions that any new developer ever comes out with is, where can I turn to? What can I use as learning resources? Access is a beast of a subject to cover. And um, today I'm going to give you some of what I perceive at least as the best learning resources available to you. We're gonna break this down into three primary categories. We're gonna talk about books, then we're gonna talk about websites, and now of course, uh, we're gonna talk about YouTube videos. Depending on how you like to learn, each has pros and cons and may be more suitable for some rather than others. Um, so that's why I'm covering even books. I know some people now don't really like books and frown upon them, but I will say I started off using books and um, that's what somewhat got me to where I am today. So um, even though I know they are becoming a thing of the past, um, they still do have their place in that question as good resources. So let's dive in. Uh, let's start off with books. Now, um, I'm presenting to you the books that I have personally used. There are a multitude of books out there, hundreds if not thousands. Um, and I'm just simply not gonna comment on things I don't know about. So the books I'm presenting here are books I've personally used and will vouch for without issue. Um, the first one here may not necessarily be for novices, 100%, although this was the very first book that I got myself before I knew anything about Access. So although it could be a little bit of a big pill to swallow for someone new, and it was for me, uh, the information contained in this book uh, is just outstanding. The VBA Developer's Handbook by Ken Getz uh, just Unparalleled in my personal opinion. Um, I still have it on the corner of my desk, even though it is literally falling apart and um, I would buy it again. Um, this is the one I personally had, the version for 2000, and it is just as valid today as it was back in 2000. I know there are newer versions, so feel free, but I I'm also just pointing out that even the old versions are truly tremendous resources. Um, so, well worth your time. Another one, this was probably the second book, it was loaned to me out of a library, a business library, but regardless. And for a novice, these Teach Yourself Visually books are just outstanding. Because instead of having to read volumes and volumes of information, not necessarily assimilate it and understand fully these visual step-by-steps where you literally follow it's an image book it's a picture book for adults for whatever subject and i had one specifically for access so it wasn't specifically this office 2000 it was access 2000 and it, it permitted me to quickly uh, managed to understand and how to work with you know creating tables creating uh, queries building a form off of a query or a, a table things like that and it brought me up to speed very rapidly and easily i was able to do this at my desk just following along page by page it really was great so another great great book in my personal opinion the third book i'm going to bring up and uh, is one that was created by some fellow MVPs, but that isn't why I'm recommending it. Um, I'm not the type of person to recommend things just because I know someone. I'm recommending this because this genuinely is a good book. Um, I'm going to just scroll down a bit here. I included here the table of contents, just so you can see some of what's being presented here. Um, if these subjects talk to you, if these are things that you have considered, don't quite grasp, don't have solutions for, want to learn how to do properly, this book covers it from end to end. It will demonstrate to you everything you need to do to implement whatever tip it is here that they're presenting to you. It truly is a great book if these are the subjects you're concerned with. Um, there was also another one, I don't have it, I know I've, I, I used to have the Access Bible. That is another excellent book. 
but I'm limiting myself to those four books because those are the four books that I used over my career, well, now over 20 years of doing access development. Um, I will also say, and I haven't covered it here, I guess there'd be an extra category, um, would be um, forums. And I guess it, it leads into the next category of websites because when I started off, like many of the older developers, we didn't even have these discussion forums. We had what we call discussion groups and we could access them amongst other things, but I could use Outlook uh, to access them. And it was basically a, a form of an email go and you shoot out an email, wait for a response, you get a reply back. And that was the type of thread you had. Now we've got these beautiful websites. So let's look at the category of websites. And I'm also tacking in here, the new forums. Um, don't overlook sometimes asking a question in a forum. There are tons of forums out there. I'm not going to tell you where to go. I have my personal opinions, but I'm not going to bias anyone today. I do have a page on my blog. Feel free to look at it where I list probably 10, 15 of the well-known forums for access. And I give a little blurb about some, um, but go check out forums. Sometimes asking a question and getting an answer back from other fellow developers can rapidly bring you up to speed rather than trying to, you know, go through websites, go through books, things like that, and try to find the answer. And it may not be exactly what you're looking for. Sometimes going straight to a forum can be worth your while. But at the same time that I say that, don't overlook also using, and as I have it here, uh, Google. Google or any search engine, Bing, Google, DuckDuckGo, all of these. Performing a search, especially if you know it's going to be a common question, you know, how do I do a not in list for a combo box? Well, that's been asked 20,000 times. There's no point going to a forum and asking that question again. Um, you can look in your books or search. You're going to find that has been answered time and time and time again. You're going to be easily able to find that answer again. So don't overlook performing something as simple as a search. But if we're looking to learn more about basics, learn about you know, how do I do some of the, the more fundamental things and see some of the basic functions, queries, things like that, that people have done over the year. Well, then some of these websites here are going to be the place to turn to. Um, I started off with this page and it was supposed to be a generalized website. So, you know, anyone posted a website, but over the years, I've noticed that it has somewhat become an MVP listing because most of these sites are actually from Microsoft Access MVPs. And that makes sense because these are the people that go above and beyond in forums, providing technical support. These are also the people that go above and beyond and create awesome websites with tons of content. And I had also created an MVP specific page. Um, and this is why this one has somewhat turned into somewhat the same thing. We've got duplication here, but let's just take a quick, quick look. So we're going to look at the MVP websites very quickly in a second. Um, if you're not already aware, Rogers Access Library, this guy here is a treasure trove of demo databases. You go there, you want to learn how to do something. He probably already has a demo database. You know, how not how to do a not enlist. He's got it. How to provide a form to dynamically sort a report in real time, allowing your users to change the parameters and change the sorting right then and there in front of them. He's got that. Uh, you want to learn how to boot your users out of a database? He's got that demo too. So Rogers Access Library, truly worth it. Um, and then there's a whole slew of other ones. Uh, Stephen Labans, he's retired. We haven't, you know, he hasn't given any new material in years and years and years. And yet what he has put up there still survives the test of time today. He did things in VBA that no one else can even do today. It's very specific use cases, but it's inf invaluable information. Alan, Alan's another one that retired and walked away, um, but he's left his website up there and just filled with information. A website that's just worth going through. Uh, go to his tips page and just go through them one by one by one. Uh, you don't have to assimilate all the information, but just get an idea of what's on his website. That way, when you start doing work and you go, oh yeah, I've seen this and you know, go back to Alan and he's already got an article specifically about it. Doug, Albert, uh, Jeff Conrad, Crystal, you know, 
the list goes on and on. The DB guy, if you don't know him, he, you know he's everywhere. Uh, different forums providing help constantly. He's got a couple blogs with demo databases and articles detailing how to do this and that. Um, the last one I really want to point out, though, is this guy here, the MS How To Articles. Sadly, over the years, Microsoft has decided to basically delete content, delete their uh, long-standing knowledge base articles. These were articles that provided answers to specific questions or specific problems, and um, they've done away with them, uh, or a, a whole lot of them. And sometimes you'll go in to uh, perform a search, you'll come up with a discussion that covers exactly what you need, and someone points you to an article, and you click on it, and it's no longer there. Well, you can go to this guy's website, put in that article number, because you'll have it, and it's archived. He has a copy of it. So this here is invaluable, um, because a lot of old information, truly, you can't find anymore. It's it's a sad statement from Microsoft. Um, the next thing would be MVP specific websites. Um, I mentioned earlier, the reason they're here is because these are the guys that go above and beyond. Uh, so typically what is in their website also is going to be some of the best materials you'll find relative to access. And it's similar for other subjects. You know, if you go to the Excel MVPs, you're going to find the best stuff for Excel. You go to a Word MVP, you're going to find some of the best content for Word. So it's no different here with access. And I'm just going to let you go through these. There are tons of websites. Um, if you don't already know of Mike's website, he is one of the most prolific um, bloggers. He puts out an article every single day. So um, someone that's probably, you know, with your uh, morning coffee, just take a glance at his website, take a look at his newest article, see if it interests you, but just tons and tons of information. Um, so anyway, they're here, go through them, they're well worth your time. Um, and by going through them, you'll find out which ones you want to basically keep tabs on because they provide continuously new content that uh, is interesting. Then the, the next website, um, the web resources, I'm just going to mention I had an article years ago. And as you can see, it was just database tutorial specifically. If you're trying to get up to speed quickly about databases, um, it, it isn't necessarily specifically about access, but you're new to the database world. This is probably your uh, good starting point. It covers many, many aspects. Um, some of it is a little bit more leaning towards access, yes, but a lot of this is very generalized information. So you should have a grasp and understanding of some of this stuff. Database planning, um, frequently asked database strategies, normalization, yeah, uh, if you aren't aware of it, um, naming conventions, Alan uh, Brown's uh, reserved words, understanding things like auto numbers and primary keys. So you you can look at this and you know quickly come up to speed with some of the basic things about databases. And then there are also specific things with access here: evils of lookup fields, sharing splitting a database, um, tutorials, you know. So between these basic ones to get you up to speed and then these ones with specific websites, you're really well placed with web resources. Now the next category is YouTube videos. I have a page where I've listed some of what I personally perceive as some of the best YouTube resources. So I'm going to let you look at these. You go through them on your time, um, but the, 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 these are the best of the best. Obviously, I'm going to plug my own blog, but you're already here. You're already looking at this video. Um, the next one, the Access User Groups. This is a, a grouping that has regular meetings, and they record their meetings so the content is available to you. They cover a multitude of subjects, Access, SQL Server, and beyond. Um, so just go there, perform a search, and, and you won't be disappointed. Uh, Code Cabinet, Phil. Phil is an uh, awesome developer. Um, and he's got some really good content on his YouTube channel and his blog as well. Um, George, um, you look Richard Rose, tons and tons of videos. Crystal, tons and tons of videos. Um, Colin, if you don't know Colin, you should. Another awesome uh, YouTuber and blogger. And I end the list with a smiley coder. 
he may not post any more access content anymore but um, there are some really good videos still on his YouTube from the past. Um, I think of, uh, for instance, he had a whole series about the tree view. So if that is something that interests you, it's worth checking out. So those are the bulk of what I wanted to discuss today. You know, there are lots of resources. You need to find the one or the ones that work best for the way you like to learn. Um, some it will be books, some it won't be. Um, you know, let's not kid ourselves today with the videos. That's getting to be really awesome that you can have this interactive content that you can just follow along. Um, so, you know, you, you pick and choose what suits you, but these truly are some of the very best resources you will find available to you today to learn about access, whether it be the very basic stuff or all the way to the very advanced VVA programming and such. So I hope this helps a few of you that are just getting your feet wet into the subject matter. Um, and I suppose we will see you in the next video. As always, thank you for spending your time with me. It is greatly appreciated. If you don't mind, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, share, leave me some comments, help YouTube know that you appreciate this content. And um, we will see you around the World Wide Web. Take care, guys.